Yo, 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 what's good? I'm glad y'all was able to come back and check out your boy, Uncle Briss. As I said, stay tuned. Always in the last videos with peace. And I think if you saw my top 10, I'm sure you were pleased. Um, if not, so be it. It's my top 10. And as I promised, uh, I said I was going to bring you guys an exclusive um, review after I got done listening to Crooked Eyes, Sex, Money, and Hip Hop. As everybody knows, Crooked Eye is um, an excellent, excellent rapper. Um, you know, his wordplay has always been tight, um, even dating back to uh, the, the years with Death Row. Um, he's always been a good MC. It just was kind of hard for him to break through, um, you know, as far as uh, commercially. Because first off, um, as Suge put it, you know, he was a he was a gangster rapper, um, and then that was on the demise of Death Row. Um, but we do know that he is one fourth of the Slaughterhouse, the super group that consists of Joel Ortiz, Joe Button, the amazing Royce the Five Nine, and then we have Crooked Eye. His solo status um, is not one that's been really recognized. He does have a few uh, mixtapes out. Um, uh, the West Side Connection one, um, uh, the Psalms one that he had, um, but he always kind of lacked in production a little bit, um, but with this, it was supposed to be a step um, in his own direction. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar, he has a super group under him called uh, the Horseshoe Gang, um, and, and the Slaughterhouse is just, you know, they're, they're, they're just amazing. So it's, it's interesting to see how Crooked Eye would approach this album. Um, and and uh, I don't know if you guys have heard it yet, but I will say that uh, it is a good album. So I suggest that you download the album. Um, it's always been a toss up uh, amongst Slaughterhouse fans. We all, we all know, uh, well most people will agree who's the best in the slaughterhouse it's none other than Royce the Five Nine in my opinion um, and then I would go with Joel Ortiz even though I wasn't pleased with his uh, House Slippers album this year um, he's still a great MC in that group and it was always that argument of who's better Crooked Eye or Joe Button well hands down Joe Button cannot touch Crooked Eye um, in regards to lyrics in my opinion and, and, and uncle's opinion he can't touch him so um after hearing this though uh, I, I and and listening to, to joel ortiz last house slippers this album kind of puts him uh, maybe a notch ahead of joel so we'll hop right into it um it, it starts off with an interview uh with suge knight um, is talking about the direction that Death Row is going. Um, it's a Life After Death Row interview. Um, and then at the end of the interview, Crooked Eye talks about how people wouldn't mess with him after he left Death Row. Nobody wanted to work with him. Nobody wanted to sign him. Um, so basically that leads right into uh, 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 to, well, actually, at the end, he says, you know, he ain't had no money. He was struggling. So it leads into the song, I'm Sick of Being Broke. Now, I'm Sick of Being Broke. Um, it, it's, a, it's a nice song. It actually has Amani on the hook. Uh, Amani, if uh, you folks aren't familiar, he's an R&B artist. Um, uh, probably introduced through Joe Button. That's how I first heard about Amani, uh, through Joe Button. And Amani, you know, he has a nice voice. So it was a nice little little collabo um you know i'm sick of being broke it's basically that's what the song is about he's sick of being broke so you know he, he's letting people know that he's he, he he's on his way to uh to take care of his family to take care of himself and you know that, that's that's basically it so uh 
you go into, yeah. as you get into the album, you get into the tape. Uh, uh, as I stated, he has uh, the House Gang, which is a uh, track on there called Drum Murder. Um, uh, we're featuring the House Gang that is just, it, it's just amazing. They just back each other up, spit for spit, spit for spit, back each other up, back each other up. So it's a nice, you know, uh, group track. Um, one of my favorites is Prometheus. Um, everybody's familiar with the Aliens uh, prequel, so it's just a you know bar for bar. Prometheus, he you know he, he's just he, he's spitting, and, and I'll leave it up for you guys to decipher that um, as you listen to the album. Um, um, you can't leave the album without talking about uh, 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 the feature, uh, of course, which would be with the Slaughterhouse. Um, it's called a uh, total slaughter and it's just that's exactly what it is it's it, it's a total slaughter you know when the slaughterhouse gets together uh, what happens uh, one of my favorite tracks on the album which kind of set the album uh, uh, up there for, for, for being um, a good album for the top of the year and so we still in, you know in, in January going right into February um, a track called Fallen Rap Guys and, and it's just you know it, 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 it's you can't really you, you have to listen to the song um, it's like homage to all of the Fallen Rap Guys but the way that you know, he, he juggles the words and, and how he puts it all together is, is just a flat out um, good piece of work by Crooked. So, you know, on Uncle Brisk scale, on a one to five, uh, I would have to give this album um, uh, a four on an Uncle Brisk scale because um, Crooked has set the tone for the year. Of course, we know Lupe set the echelon but um crooked it, you know if you're going to make a decent album and you want to be you know revered as a as a top lyricist um your crooked eye he, he he did his thing this album so it's a good download once again i won't keep you guys um i i, I want to give a shout out to jw the blueprint war room sports um, tissue and the tape. Uh, we did a, a, a great sequence, a great recap of 2014. Um, if you haven't checked that out, you can check that out on my page, Mr. Uncle Bridge 30. Um, you, you can go to War Room Sports page also. Um, also check out Prince Got Kicks, um, a, a young guy that does sneaker reviews uh, that we really, really enjoy too. Um, but uh, I just want you guys to stay tuned. Shout out to Phil Maddox. Uh, tissue on the tape, thank you, and uh, you can catch me at Uncle Bridge 30 on IG, or hit me up on Uncle Bridge 30 on Twitter, I'm doing album, review, album reviews, send me your stuff, don't get mad if I tell you it's not up to par, you know, you just go back in the lab and work, once again, stay tuned, peace, Uncle Bridge.